Hello students, a very warm welcome for this particular video and this is a crisp video where we guys are spending 5 minutes on a pure mathematical concept and we'll try to understand the best out of it. So, in this 5 minute video, what we guys are going to do is learn a concept of quadratic equation. So, the graph of quadratic we know can be multiples, right? But this is a very special case which you will find repeated very often in maths whether are you in class 11th or you are in class 12th or you are preparing for any competitive examination. So, this is the spatial curve and what's the beauty of this particular curve? That we call it as the smiling curve, right? Smiling curve, right? So, what's the beauty of this smiling curve? That, see, this is your x-axis and the graph always goes above the x-axis. Aap sab logo ne baat padhi hai, isa kya matlab hota hai? Parabola is upward, that means a is greater than 0, but it is not touching x-axis, that means it does not have any real root that means it happens at what particular value of d it happens at d when less than 0 but more importantly i know that you have understood this you have done this in class 9th and 10th also but what we forget that we do not remember is something this that when a is greater than 0 and d is less than 0 quadratic is always positive and this particular concept is tested very very frequently in all competitive examination so Quadratic is always positive, always positive, first point, second point, its minimum value. So, quadratic is always positive as well as the fact you can say quadratic is always greater than or equal to y min. What is y min? That is the minimum value of y or the quadratic function which will happen at vertex. point Okay, or a vertex point the value at the vertex, what is vertex minus b by 2a comma minus d by 4a right and value ki baat karein, is minus d by 4a the value so this particular concept that the quadratic will always be positive why we are saying quadratic is always positive because see it is always above x-axis hamesha x-axis ke oopar ban raha hai hamesha if it is always above x-axis that means the quadratic is always positive and the quadratic minimum value will be the value at the vertex which is minus d by 4a. Let's take the next problem to understand this concept. So, this question is 3x square plus 6x plus 10 minus pi times this. So, there are two components here. Notice, this is quad and this is trigo. Now, trigo or quadratic do not solve this. So, if we look at quadratic, let's check D. D is 36b square minus 4 into 3 into 10. Right, we guys can easily see that this is 36 minus 120, which is definitely what a negative value. That is for sure. So, its value kitniya hai hamare paas. Agar hum jaldi se calculate kare, so this will be 84. Right, this value will give you 84. The minimum value, y min, if you want to calculate, y min kitna hoga iska matlab iska minus d. Right, plus ho jayega kyunki this value is going to come out to be minus 84. And this will be 84 by 4a, which is 4 into 3, right? This is what will be the value. And if you check this particular value, what is the value that is coming? Is coming out to be 7. So that means the minimum value of this particular function comes out to be 7. Whereas, now let's see the trigonometry part. Trigonometry part kya kata hai? Minus pi sin pi by x. What happens with sin? Sin ke andar kuch bhi ho, hume pata hai, ye hamesha kya rehta hai? Minus 1, 2. 1. So, I can say independent of the value of x, whatever it might be, this is going to be between minus 1 and 1. Or agar minus pi se bhi multiply kar dunga, if I just multiply with minus pi, it's going to be from minus pi to pi only. Isn't it guys? So, that means, your trigonometric component hai, the trigonometric component will take some values lying between minus 3.14 to 3.14 approximately, right? Got it? Whereas, this quadratic which you have already got is 7. So, you have 7 minus something this. And you are asking for what values of x it is going to be positive. Isn't it shocker? It's a shocker or not? It's not no longer a shocker. Why? Because see, 7 is always greater than the maximum subtraction that you can do. So, if you if this is 7, if you subtract the maximum value which is 3.14, then also the answer is going to be positive. So, answer becomes for all values, for all values of x belonging to R, this inequality is true. So, that is how this particular concept, not in 
very simple terms can be clubbed with different extra questions so that it becomes difficult for you. And this is the kind of question which will check you in your class 12th as well as in competitive exam. So now you have to understand whenever you see quadratic in terms of inequalities, that means aapko sochna chahiye, D ka kuch na kuch game hai. Clear guys? Chale, I hope you have learnt the art of D less than zero in this quick five minute video. Hope that you will start applying it as soon as possible in the next question. God bless. Keep learning. Keep learning maths with Math on Go 5 Minute Initiative.